Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, this is part two in the series of the prop guards for the Yabata 2. That's right, in the first series, we printed them like this. Um, and some of you were having trouble printing it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just go over the settings really quick. Um, I haven't flown with this. I, I feel more comfortable flying with this because it's more aerodynamic. Here we got like a lot of shaft thing happening. Um, you know, I'm not sure where the air is going to go, how it's going to uh, fluctuate with the drone, but apparently they work. Uh, I feel, you know, and it has that little, uh, it's somewhat like a, a bouncy, like when you push it in. This is printed with PLA um, and it's a shorter print time. Uh, which works out really well for some of you, I believe. Um, but let's check out the other print and see how it printed because I believe this one is the left side, right? And the other one is the right side. Okay, this is part two. For those of you who want the gimbal guard to actually look like this, we have to set the infill for the top and the bottom. Um, for me, I'm not crazy about it because I don't want, I, I kind of like it to be more aerodynamic, like a stealth fighter plane. And I kind of feel like the air you know, just makes room for error. All right, so anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. So you'll download the print for me. Whoops, I'm going to download the STL file. Okay, and download it. And then I'm gonna see it's downloaded right there. I can open it in its folder. There's a previous video for you right there. Um, and now we're just going to open it and we're gonna drag it into Cura. See Cura right here, Ultimate Cura. We're using the latest version of Cura 5. 0.7.0 it'll open up and there it is and for those of you who like for it to print like this just follow the instructions in the other video for those of you who want it to be identical to this and have said i've done it wrong um we will do it right just for you okay so knowing that and moving forward let's um go here so the um quality is fine walls are three which are fine uh the top bottom see that right here that's set to zero, but let me reset this so that you guys can um, follow along from the beginning, okay? So quality is fine, all that is fine. See the walls, three is fine, okay? Top, bottom, see that right here? We're gonna change that to zero, all right? And then we're gonna go to infill. Infill, we're gonna set to zero, okay? And then we'll just scroll down to the bottom, speed, travel, uh, cooling, and then you have support, which is none. And that's pretty much it, okay? And then now what'll happen is if we go to slice it, right? Um, we're gonna click right here. Not to, Yeah, we'll slice it, sorry. And after you slice it, see, it's gonna take an hour and 26 minutes instead of two hours and X minutes. And when you preview it, see, and there you go. If you can't see it, what I will do is I'll click in there and then move the build plate so that you can see it and that's how you will get it to print like this i kind of like the um the the one that was printed in part one because i just feel like it's stronger and the last thing you want on impact is for um the prop guard to act you know you want the prop guard to actually absorb the crash right there's really nothing for the uh the, the prop guard to absorb uh if if you know it's flexible um it's nice it's cool but you know you kind of like with all these crash accumulations that are happening with this drone i just kind of feel like um you know this will i what would be ideal okay so now we're gonna go to the next step i'm just gonna put this back okay to there all right so now we're gonna save to disk we're gonna do this so this would be left uh my cursor may or may not go in yes it did i'm gonna call it left right and left prop and the space i'm going to save it to desktop but now you need a right prop guard right okay so to get that right prop guard make sure you're selected here don't move it don't touch it you can look at it by moving the arrow key which will go up or down what you're going to go is go here mirror okay and then we'll just go down so that we can see it how it's going to flip over right so that it's mirror three two click on the red see the red voila and now it's mirrored but in order to really see it we have to slice it okay and there it is voila another hour and 27 minutes time is shorter but support is not as stronger all right so this would be whoops i'm gonna call this right prop and we'll send it to the printer okay and that is pretty much it 
let's um, check out how this prints and actually fits on the Avada. All right, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. And there it is. Kind of neat, huh? Printed exactly the way we thought it would. Um, and in shorter time. Oh, wow, look at that. You see, oh, like I always say, if you leave your prints on the board, you can just do that and they'll just come right off. But when it's hot off the press, you are going to, you know, it's a bit of a struggle. Some folks like to um, take the board off and just, you know, uh, remove their project that way for me I like to wait and do that but sometimes when I'm doing a video I'm like so impressed and like I just gotta have it now and sometimes you'll see me struggle or use the spatula um, again we have a new one because uh, some of you guys were like how could you but now we have this um, so kind of neat and this one is here yep it's the um, right side so now we have a right and a left, as you can see, uh, except it's backwards. Let me put the camera back one second. Okay, there we go. Um, so actually it's um, backwards, but backwards in a good way because um, one's right and one's left. So this goes like this for the right side, right? And then this one um, goes like that for the left side. And how you can tell is by this, see that? You can see the tops, two tops match. And it has this little groove thing right there, uh, which is really neat. I'm not going to put these on. Uh, we know they work. We know they fit. But this is actually going to be um, a giveaway in the raffle. So if you have an Avada 2 and you want these prop cards, you um, just leave in, uh, uh, my props in the comments uh, section down below. And uh, in about a week, we'll have a drawing live on our live stream that usually happens every Saturday night. Um, but if you miss it, that's okay. You catch it. And the winner will be in the description down below. Um, and so the winner will have um, these prop guards in the, uh, this video. So this, and there's another video, which is a little bit longer. Um, and we'll be raffling off. So there'll be two names that will be picked out of the um, bingo session. And for these, we'll be given away in the um, other raffle for the other video. So you have two chances to win, right? So all you got to do is leave in the comp comments section my props, and then we'll do a drawing similar to the one we had before. Afix knows about this one because Afix won the last one. So, you know, if you guys want these props, um, feel free. Um, just leave the comments 10. We need at least 10 participants. These are really nice, um, and they could be yours. Uh, this is how it looks on the inside. Let me show you. Um, see? And remember, we, we took out the top and the bottom inside of the settings. Uh, and that's basically, you know, what, it, what what that did for us. This one, you know, if, the reason why I don't want to put them on is because if you manhandle them, um, you know, you, you stand the chance of like, I don't want to damage them. I want you to have the first experience of putting them on and then sharing with us uh, your video. See, that's, and this is how I actually took a hack, I think it's a hacksaw, and just cut it because I wanted, I was curious because remember we said infill zero and look, look at that. We did the infill zero, but also you have to do the top and the bottom, which makes it look like this in the end. So you have top, bottom, and then the infill. So both of that is zero. That's kind of neat. That's pretty clever. Whoever thought of that? Like I would never think, it was like, you know, you have to be, um, I guess, you know, a little bit of an artist. But um, again, these are going to be somewhere on the side waiting for you. Uh, these are gonna be on this drone, most likely. Uh, we're going to print new ones for the winner of this one. And these will just be on here. Um, so um, I guess I better get printing now, um, considering that that takes about four hours. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That sums it up. I hope that this video helped you and uh, better understanding the two different variations and settings for getting these prop guards to print. Uh, just right for you. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.